so how to calculate of maturity value on recurring deposit so in this uh, topic i'll explain one question so to find out the maturity value we need simple interest and uh, principal amount so every month how much are paying and monthly value that means for example you see the question here if you see this question you understand how to find out so mohan has a recurring deposit account in a bank for two years so time is given so n is equals to 24 because two years is uh, 24 months so n is equal to 24 at 6 percent per annum so rate of interest is 6 and if he gets 1200 as the interest so simple interest is given in the question at the time of maturity find the amount of maturity value so maturity value you need to find out so you see the formula if you see the formula in this just explain so simple interest is equals to p into n into n plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 12 into r by 100 right this is simple interest formula to find out the maturity value so p into n this is the total amount deposited plus simple interest so to find out the maturity value you need compulsory p value monthly installment and n value so in this problem n is given so n is the two years means 24 and simple interest also is given only p value you need if you get the p value first that means monthly installment then you can find out the maturity value so let us take the given data and solve this problem so monthly installment is not given so let monthly installment uh, be p let the monthly installment so this is not given so let i am taking rupees p now the rest of the values are given so simple interest is given simple interest is uh, rupees 1200 and rate of interest so r value is the 6 percent per annum and n is equals to 24 months so n value is 24 same so then simple interest formula only will take first from the given formula itself from the simple interest formula only you can find the remaining all so simple interest formula is p into n into n plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 12 into r by 100 so frequently if you write every time you write formula and start, uh, start the problem it's easy to remember always just substitute the values so p value is not we need to find out p as it is n into n plus 1 n is 24 so 24 into 25 by 2 into 1 by 12 into r by 100 so 6 by 100 and simple interest is given that is 1200 from this complete statement we will find out the value of the p so once you know the value of the p you can find the remaining just cancel 2 ones are 2 12 12 ones are 12 ones are cancel both and 55 ones are 55 4 sir, 100 Okay, and uh, 3 this is 2 2 table so finally 1200 is equals to p into so what is left here only 3 by 2 then p is equals to 1200 into 3 by 2 take other side 2 by 3 again you can cancel 3 ones are 3 uh, 4 is 12 0 0 so rupees 4 2 is 800 so 800 is the monthly installment now so therefore monthly installment is 800 then you can find out the maturity value okay it is simple then maturity value then only you need to find out so maturity value is equals to p into n plus uh, simple interest now everything we have so p value is 800 n is 24 plus simple interest is given in the question that is 1200 just you can multiply and add so 800 into 24 is 19,200 plus this is 1200. We start this both 20,400. Right? This is the maturity value. So whenever we need to find out, we can do this. Just only take the same formula and apply. Okay. This topic is how to calculate the maturity value on recurring deposit.
Now, next we will see how to find out the rate of interest. So, other values are given on the rate of interest is missed. So, I will show one example on how to calculate the rate of interest on recurring deposit now.